Let's take your temperature. You're 78 degrees. You might be a little cold. You might be a little dead. <laughs> Hello again. Today we're going back to the drawing board a little bit. Instead of using glue and chemicals to seal vinyl, we're going to be using heat. And we're going to be using a hand wheel sealer or a seam sealer. It looks like this. This is a funny little object with a roller here. It's kind of like a pizza cutter, but instead of a blade, it's a hot metal roller. It's got this funny hexagonal plastic shield. It plugs into an outlet and it has a dial here or a potentiometer to change the heat. The other important part of this heat roller is the silicone pad that makes it safe to use on different surfaces. According to the seam sealer's data sheet, its temperature can range from 80 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius, which is great because I looked at the glass transition temperature for vinyl. The glass transition temperature is the point where the vinyl turns from a solid into a viscous material, and that temperature for vinyl happens to be 81 degrees Celsius. So I currently have the dial set to its lowest state, and I also brought in an infrared thermometer to make sure that it's getting the right temperature for this prototype. Let's see what's the temperature now. So different parts of the roller are showing different temperatures. It goes from 38 degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Celsius, 82, 110, 90. Let's see what I am. 97.8. I am a little sick. Let's take your temperature. You're 78 degrees. You might be a little cold. You might be a little dead. I have two different thicknesses of vinyl, this very thin material that I made that giant saddle shape out of, and this rather thicker material that I just found in the shop today. So I'm going to cut out some simple shapes for us to play with. I'll cut them in two. There's the thin vinyl. It's hard to find clear things. And here's the thick vinyl. Let's check the temperature again. 151, 144, 100, 182, 70, 128, 95, 52, 45. It's just all over the place. The instructions for the seam sealer say, don't roll it too fast and don't press too hard. Hypothesis, since I'm getting so many different readings on this and so many of them are over 80 degrees Celsius, this is gonna melt. Let's see. So I rolled it slowly and gently, and it is stuck together very weakly. Let's try this again. You see those fumes coming up? That just melted it through. Let's see if it's a seam. Okay. So it's not pulling apart, so maybe I rolled it too slow. Hypothesis now, I'm going to try rolling it pretty quickly and very lightly. Let's check what the temperature says. 81, 61, 52, 92, 95, 97. It's hotter than it should be. There's something very interesting about this. Okay, so that was way too weak. It held for a moment and then pulled apart. I am 100% certain those fumes are very bad for me. There's a piece that's staying together, the rest of it's pulling apart very easily. What I'm thinking is I almost have to get this to the point where it's going to break and melt and ruin, and that's when it actually seems. Do it a couple more times. I think it might actually work, but it'll just take a long time to get it to work. Let's try it with a thicker material. And as I suspected, it didn't even make it through. It's leaving all the burnt pieces on it. This is really gross. And it pulled apart. Let's try and melt through. Turn it over. What I want is for the vinyl to turn to its glass point. I want to get it hot and then I want to move the thing away. I think it's actually harder with the thicker vinyl. Okay, it seems gooey. Did it work? 
No. I can see it transitioning to amorphous. I can see it transitioning to viscous. I think I want to take it basically to the point of breaking and then back off. Oop, it broke. It's in two separate pieces. I actually think this might be the answer. This is a much stronger bond. It's almost like when you set the seams, you have to cut the seams as well. This is quite strong. Let's look at this one too. This is strong. New hypothesis. Maybe burning through is not failing, maybe it's success. So I didn't burn through that time and it wasn't as strong as when I burned through. One more time burning through. This stuff is absolutely strongest where it burns through. Let's see what the heat is at now. 200 Celsius, 181, 160, 214. I'm gonna do one more experiment and then I'm gonna turn it off. I just turned it all the way up. The problem is if I'm burning through the vinyl, it releases fumes, and how is that any safer than using the glue and chemical? When the glue and chemical isn't quite so gross. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it. But there you have it, you can use heat to seal vinyl, you just make a huge mess in the process. And now the heat roller is full of all this nasty stuff. Also, according to the data sheet, this disc is coated with PTFE, that's a component of Teflon. I happen to know that PTFE causes a number of different health issues that the giant chemical company DuPont spent a lot of time trying to cover up. I'll link to that article in the description box below, it's really interesting. Okay, so final temperature before I unplugged it. Still about 180, 200, 220, which, you know, suspiciously about the same temperature that I was getting when it was on low. My hypothesis is that the dial doesn't actually work on this. It's mostly just an on-off switch, and then it gets really, really hot. And maybe that has something to do with the state of my prototypes. Okay, so the hypothesis was that I could use heat to seal vinyl in a safer way. And the results are, maybe? I don't think so. There might be a better tool. But I want to hear from you in the comments below, how did you find this video? What are you working on? Also, do you know a better way to do this besides an ultrasonic welder, which costs about $2,000? Also, do you have access to an ultrasonic welder in Chicago? Let me know. If this was educational or fun at all, please hit the like button and also please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the time I graduate and I am graduating next week. And thank you for joining me for prototyping today. I'm sick, stay away. It is going to be our last week of school. I know. We're graduating. I know. Okay, Alright, Pablo. You need your work. <laughs>